I'm joined by delighted Richard Hannan, who's just seen the victory of Snow Lantern. Eight years of hurt, the Falmouth Stakes is finally coming home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lovely. <laughs> there is a football match on Sunday, apparently, I'm told. <laughs> that, was, that was my uh, World Cup, right? Indeed. There. Because, I mean, you know, Sky Lantern, of course, that was eight years ago, carried yeah. across the track by Elusive Kate. Her daughter has come back. You've always thought highly of her, and now she's got her Group One prize. You must feel so much satisfaction and pride. Yeah, immensely, you know, for. For their stud and and for the guys in the yard, and there was a bit of a score to settle. You know, Lucy K is a very good filly, but do you, you don't want to win a, a race like that in the stewards' room. And sort of once a day is over, it's over. Um, but her, her mother did win the guineas and the coronation. She was an incredibly significant horse for you. She was yeah. your first, you know, banner yeah. Group One horse, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah, she was. She was brilliant, and, and this filly I've always thought is as good, if not better. And this filly has the pedigree, issued by Frankel, out of a classic winner. And Sky Lantern was always a freak in terms of she wasn't supposed to be that good, but you know, she was. And Hughesy got on immensely well with it. I was looking back the other day at the coronation. My God, he was good. I'll never admit it to him, right? There. He was, he was, he's now a got genius. it on videotape. Right? He's now got it on yeah, videotape. I never told him that at the time. <laughs> well, I'm glad. But you put was. quite a bit of pressure on yourself, I think, because you were you were yeah. quite clear from the word go that this filly you thought was top draw. Yeah, um, after York, she won so well at Newbury, and it, she's always a filly that's created a lot of interest and support and and pressure. And after York, I slightly felt that she had to do something or I was going to start to look a bit of a plonker. She's not a new thing. <laughs> Don't laugh. Um, and she, she ran so well at Royal Ascot. And I was so pleased, but yet so disappointed to be second. There's a big difference. And Andrew's filly is a very good filly. And today was an extremely good race. Normally the Falmouth consists of one or two good fillies. And this time, it was a real championship race. Yeah. And to win the way she did for Sean, for everybody at home and, and for the owners, it's great. I think it's a really good point because that is the strongest, deepest foul yeah. stakes I think I've ever seen. And she's got herself out of trouble. Yeah, I have a lot of friends now, as you can see, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Got herself out of trouble in order to win. Where now? I mean, we never rest, do we, in horse racing? No, I think... Go home, talk about it. She's in the NASA, she's in the Sussex, she's in the Judmont International. I'm not going to say those words if she never wins again. But, you know, that was her day and no pressure now. You go everywhere and enjoy her. Today I feel more relief than anything and delight and, and that, that is the icing on the cake. Anything else now would, would be great. Are you wanting to Here go we go again. Are you, know, it's just, are you wanting to go 10 now? Or is she will get 10, I think. But we do make this mistake. When these horses get a mile and they're beating everything over a mile, you go a mile and a quarter. But if you're beating them over a mile, why? It's not broke, go and fix it. Mm. Man. But, and the best so six then? You, <laughs> yeah, well, you do slightly feel. When you go a mile and a quarter, you're taking on different animals and you are proving another point. Five in I'm quite happy with that point, but at this point, we'll we'll let you enjoy this. I'm looking yeah. forward to what you do, what you do with her next. Let's talk about Sean because Henry Gorman was making the point that Sean has made this. He has project. ridden her every day, religiously, rain or shine for months and months, and he is he's done everything. Done the two canters. Is she all right, Sean? Yeah, she's fine. He's not getting my ten percent, but <laughs> you know, that's tough. Knowing her, he inside deserves out, it. knowing her inside out like that is going to be helpful because oh, she's yeah. been keen. And, you know. and he knows how good she is, but he also knows how bad she can work. And he sat there and just let her do it. You know, there's nothing he can do. You beat her up, you're not going to get anywhere. <coughs> and today, you know, they're a, they're a firm. They are. Yeah, they are. Very good. Well, many congratulations. Thank I'm, you, Lydia. I'm delighted for you. No um, cups I can, today. I can, I can end it. Well, there might be cups in her future. You never yes, know around the world. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm delighted for you. That thank that you very much. The point. Yeah. Thank well you. Done. Lovely day. Thank you. Thank very you. Much.